Hey y'all, it is your girl Glitter Mama here, and guess what? It is that time where I'm gonna transform my face into something horrible. But before I get started, do you see my hand? If you wanna see how I did all that gory stuff, then check out my last video about faking a bruise. Um, or how I do the vampire look myself. So, I'm gonna tell you guys that you can go to Walmart and you can get these tubes of like, this like cream makeup in this like glitter gel you can get these like little kits and stuff i mean you can just get about anything at walmart right now since it's halloween time i do recommend you to hop on that bandwagon go grab some stuff and come back so i'll show you what you'll need you will definitely need kind of like a cream based makeup you will definitely need kind of like a very pale um foundation so I would just find like the lightest foundation you can find um, definitely some like concealer so you can cover up um, we're going to be using some of this black powder um, got this at Walmart too it was only three dollars by the way um, let me see you'll need like just a bunch of eyeshadows um, whatever color you choose to have because we're not only on top of the dead look that we're planning on doing, we're going to be doing something glamorous on top. So we're not just going to make us look like a vampire. We're going to make us look like a pretty decent looking vampire. Um, and then whatever else you want, lashes, liners, you know, just the normal stuff. I'm just going to go through and show you guys how to do everything. So let's just get on started. So, first of all, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my concealer, which this is the True Match, if you were interested in it, and get you a mirror. Any old mirror will do. Okay. And cover everything up that you don't want to see. And you can use a nude base, or you can just use, like, a fair base if you want. That's kind of really what you need is more of a fair base. Just get that shit and cover it up. That's, all. That's literally all I do. And just to get it to where it's erased. Now you do not want to conceal your eyeballs because you want to look like you're dead, okay? So we're gonna be actually doing the opposite of that in here in a second and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. What I like to do is I like to get just a, a base or a plastic or something and I'm just gonna take this old like brush thing and I'm gonna just use this clear piece and I'm going to take the widest foundation that I got and you don't need a lot you just need like just enough to like kind of give it a hint of a like skin tone to it because you want to know vampires used to be humans at one point in their lives so and then you want to take your cream base and you're just gonna do it like that and what I like to do, now you could get those little, like, there's special tools that you can do to mix your um, makeup around. If you want to do that, that way you can. I'm just going to get this, like, foundation brush that I've had forever. And you're just going to mix this around. And you're going to kind of, like, and it's going to look like that. And then you're going to do another squeeze of this because you don't this is still a little dark you want a hint of foundation in your in your skin you know what I mean like in your complexion as it is you don't want to like okay so now you still want to like a hint of your skin tone in this so So that's why I'm not doing it like too crazy so you just completely go from like your pale you know your what you thought was pale to even more paler than that you know so now we're gonna just get some setting powder it could be any kind of like nude or translucent setting powder that you have at your house or whatever or you could just use a white powder if you're down for that because we're gonna just 
And I use a shit ton of powder, just to let you know. So I forgot to prime my face. That's one of the things that you could do. Um, you should do is prime your face. I just didn't. So don't ignore what I do. Okay. So next we're going to get, yes, this black face powder, believe it or not. And it comes with like a sponge. You don't need it. You'll just use a brush. Okay. So what are you going to do? Um, basically looks like that. We're not going to use a whole lot of it. We're just going to use enough to make our cheekbones sinking in so, like this and then you're gonna do some right here and you're gonna do some right here and then you're gonna just do some right there and you're going to grab an angled brush And you're just gonna blend that. So I was grabbing the wrong mirror. And you won't like that distinction that you don't, you're pretty much pretty, you know, much dead. You know what I mean? Like this whole point in, in being a vampire. Or what a vampire looks like. They are basically the walking dead if you technically think about it. No pun intended because... You know. And you can do like, you know, some gray tones in there. But whatever. Okay. I even have, and you're going to be like, whoa, this is so awesome cool. I even have vampire things to go with it. You can totally go, go big or go home if, if I do say so myself. So now we're going to use that same black. Yes, we're going to use that same black. And we're going to get our fingers, or you can get a whatever. And just kind of go in here under your eye. And just lightly pat some black underneath there that's all you're gonna do glamour part I guess oh no we're gonna first do um, this which is this glitter gel I found at Walmart which I think is so cool and basically we're going to use this I'll show you and it's just like a little glitter gel and it's clear, so you can do this anywhere, really. And I should have done this before I did my thing, but oh well. This is going to be like our highlight. I know this is crazy, but this is going to be like our highlight. So you want to take like a fan brush. You're just going to tap it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. If you want to tap it some moss. That's all you're going to do is just, just, just going to do a little bit on your cheekbone. You're not even going to do any other source unless you want to. I'm going to do a little bit on my nose right here. And you can't really see it like you can see it now. But you just want a little hint if that makes sense. So I'm going to let that dry because it is a gel type. And then I'm going to set it with some setting powder. You always want to set it because you don't want it to be like, hmm, melting. Especially when you're going out and about. So, start on the makeup. And I thought, just because I can, why not? We're going to use the purple from the Jeffree Star. We're going to use both purples. Um, I think that lavender and, like a lavender and a dark purple would just go really well with this look. So, yeah, let's just, oh, so what I'm first going to start out with is, is this color called Vanity. I just love this color, y'all. And I'm just going to do like I normally do with my makeup and or do like you normally do with your eyeballs. And this is what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with the 
Violence from Jeffree Star. I'm just going to go over it like so. We'll go in with the, purp the lighter purple and it's called Princess. And we're just going to kind of tap that in the middle right there. See what I'm talking about? Take this Princess color again and I'm just going to go right. See where I put it? Right there. Okay, so now that I feel like this is dry, you're going to take a little bit of powder and just go over the glitter so it'll set it and make it look legit. You know what I'm saying? Now, now what we're going to do is the fun part, which is basically we're going to do the eyeliner. And I love to just keep it simple with the, um, the liner. And just do a wing. There's the wing. Okay, so now we're just gonna do our mascara. These bad boys, and they're freaking long. Yes, believe it. But I thought, why not? And they're from Frightening Lashes. They're Frightening Lashes in the name called um, Enchanted. It's from Fright Night. I think this is like an Ardell brand. I have no idea. I think it is because I have some called Siren that I really like and they have Ardell's name on it. So I'm assuming that these are too. Stop there and not fill in my waterline, but I am going to fill in my waterline with um, just some black liner, but you can leave that optional. Um, I know one year I filled it in with red. It looked really wicked. Um, or you can just do like a nude or a white liner if you want to do that that way. But I'm going to go in with a dark but I'm gonna no I'm not done with my look I'm gonna go in with this which is called black rainbow and I'm just gonna go over that line again because why not you know because it's got glitter in it I'm glitter mama hello ta-da which, what good way to use this bad boy? And that is we're going to use the Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star's Lip Ammunition. This vampy like vampire look. Ba bam Because let's just have a little fun now. So. Well, what too? Make it look real wasted. <laughs> so there it is. There's the vampire look. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to me. My teeth are falling out. What? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! I'm going to suck your wire. Mm -mm. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm going to go back up. So that is everything for this makeup tutorial. I hope that you liked it and if you 
like this, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more, then let me know down in the comment section. And you could totally dress this up, you could totally do it like this, or you can be scary like I was with the teeth, or what have you, or you can just do this as normal makeup, um, with obviously darker makeup if you want. But I hope that you like this video, and I'll see you next time, and remember, whether you're dressed up, dressed down, you're beautiful. Bye. Thank you.